What's up, YouTubers? This is your boy, Big Metroid Fans, where I'm coming to you with another video game review. And this time I'm reviewing Pac-Man World. And it was released as an exclusive for the PlayStation by Namco and Sony. And it, then it was, like, later released back in 2002 for the Game Boy Advance. Now, for the sake of this review, I will, like, um, review the Game Boy Advance version, but I will pretty much point to, um... I will mention the um, PS, the PlayStation version at times. Now, the plot of the game is that Pac-Man was on his way to his birthday party, which is was like his, is like his 20th birthday, which is coincide with the 20th anniversary of Pac-Man, where he ended up finding out that his family and friends like Pac, Miss Pac-Man, Professor Pac, the dog Chomp Chomp, got kidnapped and stuff. And it, it, by, it was by this uh, imperson, Pac-Man impersonator robot called Talkman that was um, created by somebody named Orson. And Pac-Man is on a mission to uh, rescue him. Now, the stages, it has like six stages that's divided up into uh, sections. And for some reason... The Game Boy Advance version, they don't have eight other stages that's in the, the PlayStation version. The only reason I can think of is, is the, um, the limitations of the Game Boy. That's, that's the only day I, I can think of. Now, when it comes to rescuing Pac-Man's family and friends, it's not really, like, necessary to, like, rescue them all with the exception of the ruins stage stages, the um, factory stage, and then the um, space levels, you know, but I, I'm the type of person that I will rescue them anyway, because rescuing, like, Miss Pac-Man and Chomp Chomp and everybody else is pretty much part of the plot, you know what I'm saying, so I'm thinking, hey, why not do that, why not do that and get it out of the way, you know what I'm saying, since it's part of the plot, you know, now, Pac-Man is able to do do things like um a thing called butt bounce where you can like um it's pretty like similar to the um the fact that similar to um Mario jumping on people's heads like um the Goombas and Koopa Troopers and stuff in the Red Roll is like pretty similar to what Sonic can do. Plus there's one thing that he can do that that Mario or, or Sonic can't do, and that's, um, use the, uh, uh, the pellets that he collects against enemies that's not, like, the non-ghost enemies, and he's speaking of the enemies, but you fight different ones, like, uh, spiders, mummies, parrots, uh, different things like that, besides the ghosts themselves, and, um, you can do, you can use the railroad butt bounce or the, or the pedestal against them to take them out. Now, the bosses in the game are, um, like the, the Clown Pre, King Galligan, which is, <laughs> the character's name is based off that other Namco space shooting game, of course. The Krim, that's the thickest, uh, the Krim Keepler, the H. MS uh, Wimbag, and that, actually that's the, that boss's name is actually kind of funny. It's HMS Wimbag, you know what I'm saying? Anubis Rex, Talkman's Lair, and Talkman himself, you know. Now the graphics and designs are pretty are good, you know what I'm saying? Now the I can't say that the Game Boy Advance. Mm -hmm. It's like, didn't age kind of well, but it still works, you know what I'm saying? While the gameplay and the throws are pretty good, they're pretty fluent, you know what I'm saying? I don't have a, no issues with that, and the soundtrack is pretty good, and it's, and it's pretty much fun to listen to, you know what I'm saying? The only gripe that I do have about, about Pac-Man World 2 is really the... Game Boy Advance version that it don't have the eight stages that the um, PlayStation version has, you know, so I don't see why the, those eight stages should not have been, it should have been like not a part of the Game Boy Advance version, but that is a kind of a minor, minor nitpick, but whatever, 
Now, overall, Pac-Man World is a pretty good game, regardless if it's the PlayStation version or the um, Game Boy Advance version. And I would recommend it to anybody who is a who owns both systems. You know what I'm saying? And I would recommend it to anybody who has a YouTube channel who does Let's Plays. You know what I'm saying? Now, as far as the score, I'll give the Game Boy Advance version an 8. And I pretty much, if I played the play, PlayStation version, that would, I would have gave that an 8 too. You know what I'm saying? So, that is, so it is really a good game. Now, with that being said, if you have um, Pac-Man World 2, regardless if it's the PlayStation version or Game Boy Advance version, you can mention it in the comment section if you like it. You can also mention that. And if you like the um, my review of the game, don't hesitate to click the thumbs up button and don't forget to, to subscribe. This is your boy Big Metro Fan 12 signing off.